how do you turn an airplane? Do you turn it like a car? I mean, the yoke does kind of turn like that, doesn't it? In this video, I'm gonna explain all that because if you wanna be a pilot, then you need to understand how an airplane turns. Welcome to Free Pilot Training, I'm Josh. This is the episode you've all been waiting for because today I'm gonna explain how an airplane turns. Up until this point, you've probably just been flying in a straight line, so we're gonna fix that today. Now take it easy, I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm sure you do know a little bit about how an airplane turns, but there's actually quite a bit more to it than you might think if you're new to all this. And a lot of your flight training is actually gonna be building on this very topic, so let's get started by taking a look at the top of this airplane. When you look at a two-dimensional picture of an airplane like this, your first inclination might lead you to believe that we turn an airplane by yawing the aircraft one way or another. But this is actually not the case. Instead, we have to bank or roll the airplane along its longitudinal axis to get it to turn. And if you remember from one of our last lessons, we do this by rotating the yoke left or right, depending on which direction we want to go. Keep in mind, if you have a stick instead of a yoke, moving the stick left and right does the same thing as rotating the yoke. Now you may remember that our ailerons are tied together and they're connected in such a way that when we raise one aileron, the other aileron lowers. And if you're wondering why my weird little hands have my thumb sticking up, this is an easy way to remember which aileron comes up when you rotate the yoke. All you have to do is remember thumbs up, ailerons up. Anyway, this is important because anytime we lower an aileron, we increase the camber of that wing. And this means that this wing now creates more lift, while the aileron on the other side comes up and creates less lift. This in turn rolls the aircraft whichever direction you want to go. If you're like me, you're probably more confused than when we started. How could rolling the airplane cause it to turn? Wouldn't we just continue to fly straight ahead at this weird, canted angle? Not much gets past you, does it? The truth is, rolling the airplane by itself won't actually make your airplane turn. Something else needs to happen when you bank the aircraft if you want it to turn. And this is where things start to get a little tricky to understand. When an airplane is in straight and level flight, the lift that your wings produce basically goes straight up. And when an aircraft is in a level attitude like this, we call this vertical lift because it's literally going straight up. But if we roll the airplane one way or another, some of that lift is moved laterally. Now it's important to remember that some of that lift is still going straight up. If it wasn't, the airplane would literally fall out of the sky. But then the rest of this lift has been transferred laterally along the horizontal axis of the aircraft. And this is what we call the horizontal component of lift. And this horizontal component of lift is actually what's responsible for turning our airplane. And by the way, if you're taking notes, I want you to write that down. The horizontal component of lift is how we get an airplane to turn. But now I want you to think about something. What do you think will happen to our vertical lift if we trade some of it for horizontal lift by rolling the airplane? Will this vertical lift increase or decrease? Well, we took some of it to turn it into horizontal lift, so that vertical lift will decrease, won't it? So, if we want to keep our aircraft from descending, we need to do something we need to increase the lift that our wings are producing. And remember, we've got two tools we can use to do that. We can either increase our airspeed or we can increase our angle of attack by pulling back on the yoke. Now, the easiest thing to do is to pull back on the yoke. And this does three things. First, it increases the vertical lift that our wings are producing. Because if we didn't do that, then the airplane would descend because there's less vertical lift now that we're tilted to the side. Second, it increases the horizontal component of lift. And this is important because when we traded this vertical lift for horizontal lift, we didn't really create that much horizontal lift by rolling the airplane. We need to keep some of that vertical lift so the airplane doesn't fall out of the sky. And to keep us from descending, we need to pull back on the yoke to bring that vertical lift back up where it was before we started the turn. And when we do this, this also increases our horizontal lift, which turns the airplane in the direction that the aircraft is banked. Once again, this is important to remember, you need to roll and pull to get the airplane to turn properly without descending. Now, there's one more thing that pulling back on the yoke does. Not only does this increase our vertical and horizontal lift, it also increases the force of inertia acting on the weight of our airplane. We call this our load factor. We'll be discussing this more in the next lesson, but this is super important to know because load factor actually increases exponentially the more we bank the airplane. 
and the amount you need to pull back on the yoke to keep it from descending is directly related to this force. In the next lesson, we're going to be discussing this in a lot more detail. There's quite a bit you need to know about load factor, and I want to give it its own lesson because extreme load factors can cause you to damage the airplane or even stall the aircraft well before normal stall speed. Hey, thanks for joining me today on free pilot training. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button for me. It helps the algorithm or something like that. If you're enjoying this series, I've got something totally free for you guys. This is my free private pilot ground course on an interactive PDF. And what you'll find here is the videos you already love from free pilot training, along with some extra quizzes and stuff. And that makes it a little bit easier to follow than just a playlist. And that's available over on freepilottraining.net. Thanks for watching. See ya.